This activity will be part of a project and it will be carried out by students in fifth year of primary education. I have supposed they will be developed in a class of 24 students uh, in a bilingual school, which will give them the opportunity of uh, doing natural science in English. Also, I have supposed that it is a class which uses tablets regularly. I will use a transversal approach between the subject of science and English. Before I start explaining the development of the activity, let me summarize the curriculum which you will find in the detail in, detail in the description of this video. In the subject of natural science, students will be introduced to scientific methods. To do so, they will work with ICT tools to analyze and construct information in order to present facts in digital format. These tasks will be related, in this case, to important discoveries and inventions we have developed in STDM. In the study of English, students will use previous knowledge to plan and develop um, a written text, and five short questions using lexical and grammar they already know, and taking into account production and communication strategies. They will also use the previous content in order to develop a short or a now, our competence for lifelong learning, this activity will be focused on communication in a foreign language, learning to learn, digital competence, interpersonal, intercultural and social competences and civic competence, mathematical competence and basic competence in science and technology, entrepreneurship. A student will be introduced to no more materials topic by watching this YouTube video in the class. After that, a Mentimeter will be carried out in order to take their appraisations about this topic. Each student should add at least two words individually. Next, the student will be divided in four teams of six members in order to develop the task. Each group will decide three members who will perform the following roles. No C, in charge of collecting any doubts and ask them to the teacher or even between classmates. Snoopy, in charge of making sure every task is developing adequately and in time and Go City, in charge of being the representative of his or her group member. Then the teacher will display four QR codes on the interactive board, and the Go City of each team should go and scan one uh, for his or her group. This QR code uh, will lead them to the women in the STEM the world will be about. Next, the teacher will introduce the wiki site she created, which will only consist of debate home and she or he will explain them what is the goal of that website which is to create a collaborative website about women in STEM. After that group will divide themselves in mini teams which will search and gather all the information related to life, achievement and importance in science about the women they will work with. This activity will be carried out in the group classroom as they work with tablets. If any problems appear, all these parts will be developed in the school computer room. When all the information is gathered, all group members will decide which pieces are the most important, and thus they will use MindMaster to organize that information in order to write a short text of more or less 100 words, which will be later um, uploaded to the wiki site. Also, they will be asked to add a link to the website they found the information in. Next, a student will access avatarmaker.com to create the avatar of the woman uh, they are working with. And using Genially, they will create an interactive picture with the five more important facts they have reflected in their mind map and in the text. Let me explain something before continuing. In these previous steps, four and five, the social design will depend on the students, who in their group will, will be able to decide how they will develop the different activities. Will they divide the group to do the interactive email and to write and upload the text, or will they join all together? They will, of course, count with the suggestion of the teacher who will remind them about the deadline and which way he or she thinks is better for each group. The last steps. Finally, each group will do mini presentations using the interactive picture which will be shown in the board of their classroom and they will add all the content they have created to the wiki site using google sites now let me explain the uh, evaluation a 
after the presentation, the students will have a few minutes for the rest of the classmates to ask any questions they want. When the question finished, each group will assess their classmates, and to do so, the groups will create a five-question uh, test, sorry, using quizzes. Uh, each group will receive 0 0.2 points for every complete test they get, so that they achieve a maximum of one point, which will be added later to the final mark of each subject. As for me, as teacher, I will evaluate this whole activity using the wiki site as a reflection tool. I'm writing a journal with pictures and mini videos about the learning teaching process in a section called Reflective Teacher. So it serves as a collaborative tool for all the schools that joins uh, this project. The ethical problems that could appear when developing this activity are the following. Parental consent for a student to create an email account in order to work in a wiki site. Also parental consent for a student to be photographed and recorded in order to add it to the reflective uh, evaluation. We could also find some parents who do not want their children to talk about um, feminism, which is the perspective I would like to, um, to, to try uh, with this um, activity, and that might be because of their ideology. And finally, students with disabilities, in which case any modification will be carried out in order for all students to be able to participate. So the added value of using technology in this activity are the following. First, engage children in the teaching learning process. Second, promoting active, active learning with learning by doing, uh, learning by doing authentic task, task and autonomous work. Uh, amplify the communicative context in the classroom and foster cooperative work. In order to develop this activity from home, students should uh, be able to access the internet and have, and have any device to participate in the activity. In case any of the students do not meet this characteristic, the school will provide them with the needed device in order for them to be able to participate in the whole activity. Online connection at home to be able to watch the video and to receive the, a random QR code. Online meeting with the teacher to divide the groups and explain the activity. Zoom or similar to divide the class in rooms regarding the different teams to develop this activity. Theoretical concepts, PLE. A PLE is everything a person uses and does regularly to learn. It includes the PNL and the well transparent strategies to access and decode multimedia information. What we do with that information and how we reflect about it. ACAD is a framework to design learning activities. In ACAD, learning is understood that something emerging that is always situated, which means we cannot control a student learning, but we can design the testing learning situation regarding the tasks, the tools and resources, and how the tasks will be developed. Individual, which is doesn't mean isolated or in groups. Pechacha, presentation format which consists of presenting certain topics using 20 slides which changes automatically each 20 seconds. Mind map, tool for analyzing, organizing, structuring and presenting information. It represents ideas hierarchically, branches appear from a main idea and connect it with new related ideas. As with the teachers, we must keep in mind these four concepts whenever creating an activity. Every teacher should plan focusing on enhancing him or her student PLE and her own and make them more aware of the information. How? Using Pechachas and Mind Maps and Reflection Zoom for students to develop and enhance the learning. Apart from this, as I said before, we as teachers cannot control what our students learn, but we watch the learning condition. So, apart from being a PLE focused planner, we should always plan activities having in mind the three different designs in ACAT's framework. Creator and manager or imagine pedagogical practices, which means being able to create new teaching practices for students taking into account their own condition and needs. It's important because nowadays everything is related to technology, and a teacher should be able to introduce ICT with the methodology he or she uses to develop effective learning and authentic tasks. Expert in enriched learning environments would refer to his or her own PLE, but also of the organization learning environment. This means being aware of how technology conditions PLEs and how knowledge is acquired and produced. This is important because we know how our own PLE works and we should be able to manage and enrich it to be a better teacher. However, organization PLE should be enriched and we as individuals 
can do it to transform that organization into a school in permanent state of learning. Social commitment. Involved being sensitive to the power of technology on social and political life, and thus empower students to become critical citizens who participate actively for the, from the society. On the other hand, we need to use technology to expand relationships with families and the student environment, in weighing and instructing the students, both academically and socially, in order for them to become future citizens, families, teachers and communities should work coordinately to achieve this goal, and communication has changed a lot lately, and that is why technology must be included and enhanced in this last competence. I think I deserve an eye because I have put all my effort and all my willing of learning in this subject, which sometimes hasn't been uh, so easy. Uh, and apart from understanding and knowing the concept, I have also been able to apply this content to my real life as a student in an effective way. I hope it's okay to answer these two questions together because for me, the answer for both would be curator. Creators uh, have been in charge of organizing and structuring all the sources of information we have consumed during this course in a schematic way. Um, I think this is both important and challenging because we have created a tool uh, which we can consult forever and ever and we go beyond this subject which involves a huge responsibility.